keep an eye on the uh, panel for me, please. Uh, as always, then, seven-day review of what's been going on in on Passive World. And uh, again, lots been going on uh, this week. So let's go all the way back to Thursday, 28th of March. Um, what happened on 28th of March last Thursday? Yes, we had on Passive 360 once again. Uh, this was the third week of Thursdays. Uh, if you remember back, uh, Marty couldn't do one of the weeks because he had uh, people coming around to his house on the very first one. The second one, I uh, was Chris fishing and he caught an absolute whopper, if you remember. And the last one was I had a funeral uh, to go to. So we changed them to Thursdays. But here we are on Wednesday back to normal. But last Thursday, we had our 360 and we were delighted to uh, have our CEO on updating us uh, with what was going on. And do you remember? Uh, it was absolutely uh, amazing. He brought some really good information, in my opinion, uh, to 360. He, Chris, you're not doing a very good job, are you, really? Red, I'm clicking them, but they're not moving. I don't know if Marty's trying All to right. move. I'm just not moving. Uh, okay, no worries. Uh, he came on, didn't he? And uh, he actually gave, for me, a really good uh, explanation, update of why we are in this uh, extension period of O-Connect at the moment. And for me, it made absolutely perfect sense. Uh, he explained uh, what was happening with the initial processors, that very first one that we had on the 1st of September, and then subsequently the other one we had a week or two later. They were conjoined as partners, and this caused a problem with freezing of assets. He did say that they'd been going down a certain path for uh, quite a substantial time, and maybe three or four months and uh, this didn't give the right outcome that they were looking for. They subsequently changed uh, the people they were using. And they now have a date for the return of the funds that were held in reserve by these companies. Now, why is that really good information as far as we are concerned? It's great information because it is part of the reason why the company can't pay us the money because they had to have the money to pay for us. Another business has that money and they uh, can't pay out what they haven't got. So as soon as that money has come back into on passive the business, then I'm sure things will start moving. Obviously, tie that in with the payment processes that we have been working on behind the scenes and having a date now fixed for the return of those funds for me was extremely good information and it should be for you guys why because it no, we now know that from that date things should start moving and that means funds going into the company but more importantly funds coming out directly to us he also uh, alluded as well to how the company uh, was moving forward and I really got the impression that he's prepping us for something that's going to be happening uh, down the line, maybe summertime, as far as a little change in direction for the business. And obviously, don't quote me on this. This is kind of what the feeling I got, because he was certainly uh, telling us that we shouldn't be stuck in one direction with one thing that we've always wanted to do we have to navigate and diversify and so i'm really i'm looking forward to hearing from our ceo to what that where might be also uh we had uh the written recap for this that was posted almost immediately after 360 by our quartet of peter darrell janet and uh, who else? Peter, Daryl, Danit, and Peter Shore. Peter Shore, yeah. Dan Street. Dan Street, that's the one. I always forget about Dan for some reason. Sorry, Dan. Uh, that was put up in your O Founders back office for you to read. Uh, also on Thursday, we had a 10 day extension to O Connect as well. And this obviously is concurring and running forward. 
for me, this is a great thing because it means that uh, we are not taking any hit on this at all. We've been using OConnect free at the moment until the company uh, get this sorted. Now, I know Marty is going to be talking a little bit about more than this afterwards, uh, about why uh, it is of such benefit to us to have it free at the moment and why it's not of benefit uh, to the company. So I know he wants to talk about that point. Uh, we also then moved on to Friday 29th. What happened on Friday? It was Good Friday across the globe. And uh, we also did a recap myself and Marty uh, on the webinar from Thursday. Saturday, quiet day as far as on passive. Uh, there, a lot of people were doing their own thing for the Easter break. Sunday, we had a small update, guys, on Sunday. Did you notice it on the existing website? And for you eagle eyes out there, it was at the very last page at the bottom where normally the addresses of our offices across the globe had changed. That had been taken away and it had been updated with a spinning globe. Now, if you remember back probably two years ago, one of the features that we had was this spinning globe with where founders were on it and you could click on it and up would pop the testimonials of those founders in those countries. This is kind of similar. It's a spinning globe and it has yellow stars on it that are flashing. This indicates the locational offices across the globe of on passive. And if you remember people saying, oh, why aren't we in America anymore? What's happened to that office? Well, lo and behold, it's still there, guys. And it is now featured on the globe. Why has the company gone to this style of uh, locational uh, views for the users? Because we're expanding, guys. Because we are going to be spreading across into different locations, there just isn't room at the bottom of that web page to put all those addresses on. It's a lot easier and it's a lot better to have this spinning globe with the locations flashing on it. And I'm sure in the future, you'll be able to hover over those uh, flashing stars and it will pop up the locational address of those offices. It's to save room on the website, but really good feature. That happened on Sunday the, thir uh, Sunday the 31st. Uh, also, clocks changed across Europe and many other places. And then we came into Monday, the 1st of April. No April Fools as far as on passive was concerned. Why? Brand new uh, website. Go and have a look at it, guys. Absolutely fantastic. We definitely went back to the old themes of the colours, the light blues, dark blues, and the white uh, lettering in there. Again, a lot of updates on there. We've gone uh, the previous week. We had that fantastic video in the top right hand corner. This time we've got the stills of some really good graphics that are there. New write ups, by the way, on most of the pages. If you've noticed, the about us section has been rewritten. That's a whole new section that has been rewritten as far as uh, what is on passive all about. And also, if you've noticed as well, the uh, fonts and the logos of Google Play and also the App Store, the um, App Store for iOS, that has all changed. A different font size, different layout, and that. Remember, guys, uh, as CEO told us as well last week about O Trim. It is in your uh, Android Google Play Store at the moment, but please. Until you have had official confirmation through your OES, do not download it. We're waiting for the upload at the moment on your OES Apple devices through um, the App Store. And until that's there, we are not going to put it on the official sites uh, until it is in that App Store. So please wait. Otherwise, you might download the wrong uh, app. And uh, that won't be good because it's not official from on passes. So please wait, guys. It is for O Trim, okay, to use on your own mobile device. And then yesterday, 2nd of uh, April, 
we had a 13 day extension to O Tracker, and you can view that if you want to in your uh, OES underneath Marketplace and scroll to O Tracker. If you want confirmation of the 10 days that was given, uh, given to uh, O Connect uh, last Thursday, then you can check this all out. It'll be under the my subscriptions, okay? And also there'll be a confirmation in your O mail for that. That's it for me. Yeah.